So good day everyone. I'm going to tour you in the Web of Science Academy. This is part of your requirement for the research class. And this is under chapter, I think, uh, unit five of the syllabus. So we're going to make use of technology so that you can learn about research. Now, I'm not going to teach you about peer reviews and, or good citation behaviors or about, about those, but we're going to exper you're going to experience that one for yourself through this platform. You're going to earn certificates here, but I hope that you can enjoy your journey learning about what really a peer review is. So as an introduction, I'm going to read some parts to you. The Web of Science Academy, an online training supporting academics in conducting research with integrity. I told you before that it, there's this Pablons Academy, so they upgraded it into the Web of Science Academy because they, in, they integrated these, not just research, but there's this integration of integrity in doing research. And so that's the purpose of this uh, Web of Science Academy upgraded from formerly the Pablons Academy, and that's where I'm a graduate of, and my other advices. So the Web of Science Academy aims to support researchers from around the world as they develop their research career and navigate the academic publishing landscape, learn about various aspects of research integrity, and develop key skill sets within academic publishing by creating a login and then com completing free courses when it suits your schedule. The certificates, which can be downloaded or printed, are awarded for each completed course. And so that's what's nice about it. It's an internationally recognized certificate. And, of course, it's pointed out here that you are going to learn um, through free courses. So there are free courses during this time. Learn from the best mentors or scientific researchers worldwide. What I appreciate about giving you this is that you can have the experience of those who are professional uh, or newly uh, newly um, emerging into the field of research. So you are undergraduate. It's an advantage for you if you can learn from this platform. And so that's what that's the kind of experience that I'm I am giving my advices or my research class so that they can learn from an international arena and a globe, to become globally competitive researchers. And so I hope that you can enjoy your personalized learning from this course. So we have here the course content. All course content is focused on supporting research integrity and improving the quality of published research at the academy. New course content will be continuously added. So, so far I think there are like seven courses. So even after you graduate, you can continue learning and using the platform if you want. But I, w I will only require you to earn uh, enroll in five courses, and that means earn five certificates for the duration of the entire semester. So we have here good citation behavior. I'm going to let you have this one. So five courses. We have good citation behavior where you learn how to reference to where to reference and when to reference and gain understanding of what citation manipulation is and how to prevent it. So this course is for authors, peer reviewers, and editors, and it takes 30 minutes to complete. It's advanced for you, but I know that this advanced, advanced knowledge is an edge on your part when it comes to citing references because even if you are not yet fully exposed to research, you can learn from this one so that you can avoid those pitfalls or conducting your research, um, having plagiarism, so this one can help you out. And then, of course, I will also require you to have this an introduction to peer review. Here, you're going to learn what's expected of you as a future peer reviewer. As I said, this is an advanced course, but I know that you can do it. So a peer reviewer are those who are... Um, credible researchers or those who have experience in publishing and they're asked by the journals to do the reviews for them. So you're going to learn here and you, how to respond to peer review comments as an author. So 
This course is aimed at early career researchers that have just started or are about to start publishing and reviewing, and it takes only 30 minutes to complete. So even though it's for those who have already started their research, but as I've said, it's an advantage for you if you're if you're undergrad and you can learn from this course. And then reviewing in the science, so you're going to learn how to review a typical research article, what to look for in each section of a manuscript by using peer review guidelines and how to structure your peer review report by using a template. I love this one because you'll be exposed to a web science template and my uh, former advice also used and did their own peer reviews. So this course is for early career researchers that would like to learn how to peer review. Um, you know that this course, even though it's for early career researchers, so I think it would still be appropriate for you because you are beginning to have your uh, kind of you're going to have your research. And then, uh, I'm also going to be requiring this one, reviewing in the humanities. Learn how to review manuscripts, such as monographs and literature reviews, what to look for in each section of a manuscript, by using peer review guidelines, and how to structure a peer review report by using a template still, using the Web of Science template, and you can access that one in the course. So this course is also for early career researchers that would like to learn how to peer review. Now, if you notice, that peer review is actually an advantage on your part because we're gonna have the we're gonna do the peer reviews of your uh, classmates, or I'm thinking of the other sections because there are three sections under my class, so we're going to have that one. And this one will skip this part for reviewing with a mentor. That's when there's a um, mentor who will mentor you, a foreign-based mentor, or, or before I used to mentor because I already I'm up. Pablon's Academy Mentors, I, I was the one who mentored my advice so that they can graduate from the Pablon's Academy. So there were half, 50% who graduated and 50% who did not graduate from the Pablon's Academy because I have to be objective about the, the peer reviews that they give that uh, if they do graduate, we won't be ashamed that the Pablon's Academy has, has given them the certificates for them to graduate your, uh, last year. Uh, mentoring and peer review, uh, no, this one, I won't let you have this one, but this one, an introduction to ethical publishing behavior, you'll need this one. So learn about ethical behavior around conducting and publishing research, such as what constitutes authorship, research, misconduct, declaring conflicts of interest, and identifying unconscious biases during peer review. So this course is for authors, peer reviewers, and editors, and of course, U.S. students, I'm happy that I'm able to share this platform to you so that you can learn from it. And it's personalized learning. It's part of your requirement, so I love it. Uh, it's technology-based. It's, uh, it's learner-centered, so you can learn research, uh, advance your research, research skills, as well as your research knowledge. So that's the advantage of this platform. I'm, I'm giving it to you. There's actually other platform, another platform that you can use, but if you finish this one, um, by May or I think April will do. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I can give you until April or May to finish this. It's 60 minutes to complete, but when you're actually doing it, it requires more time. So five courses. You have this four courses that you're requ I'm requiring you, and then of course the introduction to ethical publishing behavior because we want our goal for research for your st studies is to really publish. Because if you have unpublished if you have unpublished research or those research which are not published, then it's like it does not you know, whatever you did for a year starting right now does not exist. So that's why the goal really is for publication. So what are the key benefits you have here? Free online and on, free online and on demand. You're going to have certificates awarded after the course completion. High quality content developed together with industry experts, yes. Researchers um, learn vital research integrity skills from a trusted source because the web of science of course is one of the one of the two which actually there are other publishing um, house, but Scopus and Web of Science are the two prominent uh, giants when it comes to to research. Okay, so now ah. 
Okay, so I want you to go to Play Store and download. Wait, my dog is barking noisy. Go B! So now I want you to go to Play Store and download this app, Go.Learn, and then you have to install it. So I'm going to open it. So you, are, you will need to register. You will need to register first. The one that's loading, it's actually register. So we'll just have to wait for it. Okay, there. So you're going, you're going to need to register. And then there, um, your first name, your email, your password, of course and accept the, this one, and then next, I don't know what's next, because I forgot already, but just read whatever that is required for you to register. So I'm going to log in first using my unknown username and password, and then I'll cut this one for a while. So I already logged in. Now when you when you type your username, you have to fill in the complete username, including with your, for example, institutional account, so your name at mc.edu.ph, so you have to complete it. That's your username. So we, ha we are inside um, my account already. So uh, we have here my courses and learning plans that I have enrolled. Actually, this le this platform is easy for me, but I just I just um, enrolled it enrolled in it so that I can uh, learn what the you guys would need to learn here. So that's why I enrolled. So I finished this course already, and this one is actually new knowledge. I learned something here from the good citation behavior. I learned something uh, valuable. So yes, I have I haven't finished this one review in the sciences, but I'm already familiar with the reviews. It's easy for me because um, I've done research for a lot of times, so it's not really new to me the, the introduction, this three courses. But what I find interesting is this one, good citation behavior. There there was something new that was given to me, so I like that one. And these are the four, but then you need to review the course catalog. You have to finish those four four courses so this uh, including the uh, introduction to ethical publishing so you have to finish this I think I'm already uh, so it's a new course you have to finish this one entirely so how are you going to enroll let's check this one out I think I haven't enrolled in this so there I'm going to enroll I'm going to enroll And then you have been enrolled in the course successfully. So this this um, ethics introduction to ethical be, uh, publishing behavior is entirely enough. Um, it's just one lesson, but there are modules inside it. So I'm not going to start learning right now. This one is actually not new to me anymore, but it's good that you that for me, for example, I refresh what I learned. Uh, from time to time so that you know there's always something new to learn so this five here I'm going to go to my courses and learning plan so this five here five courses these are the courses that you'll need to enroll so you have to finish that one and um, you can finish that one, the entire, um, I think I can give you until April, uh, April 30 or 31, if there's 31 in April. So, so only until April, the last week, okay, so that, um, because you have your project for the conference, so that it will not be in conflict with the project. All right, so I hope that you know how to enroll yourself. And by the way, uh, let's have an example. I completed already this one. 
And so, course completed on June, uh, June 6, last year, yeah. So, introduction to peer review. Uh, let's see what I have gone through, gone, uh, gone with, with the course. Okay. So, what's, what's in, ah, uh, here. So, here are the courses that I have gone through. So it's also important for you, at least we can save um, time that we can no longer do the webinar, we can save money as well. So you do the one, you can learn from it. And it's important that you learn from this because if ever we do have um, an examination, I'm going to get some of those part of the exams in this, in this courses here. So you really have to study this one. I'm familiar with yourselves with it. Uh, yeah, so let's let's have an example of the certificate of attendance. After you have completed a course, your certificate will be generated, and you'll earn this one. So this one is an internationally recognized certificate, and you can use the one for for your um, future endeavors. And what's nice about this is that it's from the Web of Science, so it's a highly credible certificate. It's recognized all over the world, except if, if the people who will screen your your credentials are not researchers, so they are they don't know about Web of Science. That's the only time that they won't know about it. But if those if they engage in research, then of course they surely know about Web of Science. So it's a credible certificate, highly credible and uh, internationally recognized. So these are the things that I really want you to learn from this course. So it's a personalized learning. The courses are free. Um, it's advanced for you, but I know that you can do it. You can learn from this course and to develop your knowledge, your skills, your competence, your confidence in research. So that's what I want to take uh, that's what I want you to take with you aside from doing your own research. All right. So that's it. I'm going to log out now. Actually, you don't, I don't, I think, um, I don't know if it logs out, it logs, it signs out automatically, but I'm just going to sign out. Every time I always forget the password, so I have to. Um, now, suppose you encounter this. Okay, I'll try to, I don't know. Since I logged out already. Okay, suppose you encounter this. You have to remember this platform URL. Just copy it. If ever you do see it in the, in the, in the app, you just have to copy it. Copy this one. And then you proceed to the login page. Because if you don't know the platform URL, it will not take you there in the sign-in. So I hope that you'll enjoy whatever you learn from this platform.